This is the Isodrone, a pedal-controlled drone synth powered by a Teensy 4.1 microcontroller, a remarkably powerful little board in the Arduino family. Teensy isn't just a clever name, it's literally the size of a stick of gum. Let's plug it in and see what it can do. This is a 2.8 inch TFT display. You will notice a little bit of flickering throughout the video and that's because the display is not matched to the speed of course of the camera. So you just dial in the note, press the button, and you've got a drone. So this is a resistive touchscreen, so it's best to use a stylus with this display. You can use your finger, but it's just not quite as accurate. So this is a two voice synthesizer, and here's both voices at the same octave. Now we'll take out the detune. And that's not particularly interesting on its own, but you have the ability to change the second voice, first down a third, That's a little more interesting. Now down a fifth. Up a third. Next is up a fifth. then up a full octave. And now up two octaves. And down one full octave. And with a little bit of detuning, this sounds even more interesting. Each pedal starts and stops the note. When one note is playing and a second pedal is pressed, the other note will turn off and the new note will sound. So there's a number of onboard sound controls. Here's an example of the filter. Example of the resonance control. So you can get some pretty interesting sounds out of it. Here's an example of a very basic LFO or low frequency oscillator. subtle texture to the sound. But there's also an onboard reverb. The independent wet and dry controls allow you to choose how much reverb you'd like in the mix. There's also controls for the size of the room and for dampening. You can access the onboard presets by pressing down on the dials. I've pre-programmed a number of different audio settings along with the different sound layers for each preset. You'll see the settings change each time a new preset is selected. There's only 8 megabytes of storage on the TNC, so you are limited with how many sounds you can use. So this synth uses sound fonts, which are fairly small audio sample libraries, and they don't sound too bad. I'll provide a link to the exact library I used in the video description. Here's the piano and synth.
Here's a basic organ with Leslie. And the dark drone, which has a great sound. Might be my favorite on this synth. Sounds even better a little deeper. Here's some basic strings. And here's a brass section, because why not? And the piano layered with strings. And here's a basic polysynth. And back to the beginning. After some testing, I quickly realized that two drones was not going to be enough. So I built this extension box, which lets me switch between four different drones. Watch what happens when I plug in the seven pin extender cable. Hey, look at that, four notes. And let's check it out. And as you can see, the extender also has independent controls for each of the notes. Here's a closer look at the screen to show what note is playing. And there it is, a teensy powered sound font driven synth with some useful audio controls. For those curious to see the inner workings of the programming, the code is up on GitHub. I'll provide that link in the description. I've learned a lot from the Maker community, so hopefully this is helpful to your projects as well. If you're new to my channel, be sure to check out the original music and soundtracks, and I have a number of other project videos up here as well, and a number of new ones on the way. Until next time, thanks for watching. <laughs>